What's up, party people? So, I am, I'm reviving my YouTube channel to go along with my vlog. Uh, just because it seems more, um, I can, I can do more with it now. Before, I was just trying to do everything at once. Um, and it didn't really make sense to have a YouTube channel back when I first started my blog. Um, but now it kind of is making more sense to have one um, with the journey that I'm about to go on. Um, so I am, for those of you that don't know, I am, uh, I've been on my weight loss journey for years, literally years. Um, I've been overweight my whole life. Um, I was probably, well, no, I was 200 something pounds in like fifth grade, um, overweight all my life. My lowest adult weight was 300 and like 80 pounds. Um, and then through, um, multiple situations, of course, use food for comfort. The same thing that happens to most people, most people who get to my size, use food as a comfort or um as a cathartic release in some way so it happens and i've um decided to finally go through weight loss surgery um it was hard to find a doctor who actually it wasn't that hard it was just the doctor was hidden i didn't really know about them i only knew of like the main doctors that did the surgery um, through one of the hospitals here. <clears throat> and then I found another doctor who would do the surgery, um, and he's operated on people that were larger than me, and of course people that were smaller. So um, I've been seeing a therapist for my behavior eating um, issues, because of course I have binge eating disorder, um, which for those of you that don't know, it's kind of like the reverse of it. I beat anorexia's ass every day. Um, it's people that um, kind of like an alcoholic um, where they, you're just addicted. Well, in my case, I can only speak for me, where I'm just addicted to food, where one bite, when I have one bite of food, um, there are certain triggers in me where I'm like, okay, I need more, I need more, I need more. And I will eat compulsively until I get to the point where I either throw up and even after I throw up I might go back and eat again um it's just this unhealthy relationship that I've always had with food um and then you go from that to okay gosh I'll never do it again I'm gonna restrict I'm gonna restrict and then you take a bite of food um and then it triggers it again and there you go. And I'm consuming, during my binges, I consume, I can eat great and healthy throughout the day, but during my binges, I consume, I can consume 2,000, 3,000, not 4,000, I don't think I've gone to 4,000, but two, usually 2,000 to 3,000 calories in one sitting. Um, and it's like, it really is the addiction, and I've struggled with addiction to other substances in the past. And that, for me, that's the best way to relate it to is addiction. Um, the same way I couldn't put down those other substances, I couldn't put down the food or I would go. It was just constant intake, intake, intake. Um, so I've been seeing a therapist for that, trying to deal with that because even though I get bariatric surgery, those behaviors and that mental... Um, Part will still be there, but um, I'm going to be, what was the whole point of this rant? Oh yeah, so I will be going through the gastric sleeve process um, and finding, I found a doctor who will uh, be doing the sleeve process where they remove 70% uh, of your stomach. Um, so it's a huge um, altering to your body, but at my size, I'm willing to chance it. Um, 
I, like I said, I've been morbidly obese my whole life. So the longer I wait, the more I see my body deteriorate. Um, and it really came down to, do I want to give myself another year to try to try and fail? Cause I've done this repeatedly for years. And how many times, how many chances do you give someone? And they say, you know what? No, this time I'm really going to do it. I'm really going to do it. How many times do you keep giving them chances? Um, and I really, in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, well, maybe I can make the changes this time. But um, I really don't want to go into progressing to my mid-30s because um, it's going to take a couple years if I did this, you know, without any other outside interventions to lose almost 300 pounds in a healthy um medical supervised manner um and I just don't want to risk it um and being 400 right now I'm at 492 pounds at my, at my highest weight 514 um anything can happen during those times and um I just don't want to risk it anymore and I want to get as much weight off as possible as soon as possible um get out of pain and get like every year a new medical condition pops up so get all of that taken care of and then um, be able to start a family and enjoy um, things that I've denied myself because of my weight so I've met with there are certain clearances I have to go through um, I've already done a lot of clearances because I used to always go to the doctor um, and believe it or not I would have planned my meals and things like that track my meals but again for me it was the way I was preparing food and the, the portion sizes um, even on my blog I the things that I post as far as meals I tell you again this is for two people <laughs> this is enough to feed a family of four but it takes a lot to fill up someone my size when we've been eating this way all my life my stomach isn't the same size as the average person and it takes a lot more for me to get satisfied um, and then of course I do eat until I'm full and then of course I do binge um, so there's a lot tied into it, um, but I'm excited to finally go on this journey, um, after getting over the fears, um, my mother was 550 when she died, and, um, I really wish she would have known about, uh, the possibility to have this surgery, because her body just started breaking down, um, towards her, the time of her death, and, um, so yeah, so I'm going to be doing my best, of course, documenting this on my blog, but also trying to add in more videos to keep the process transparent, because I know that there are others out there like me. I see it all the time on a lot of the weight loss support groups that I'm in. So, um, I just wanted to get this video out of the way. Of course, I just woke up with that. You can tell, <laughs> um, but stay tuned and I will continue to update you and I look forward to bringing you all on my journey.